All right, welcome everyone. I'm very excited to do a little uh, baking dish tonight. Um, I thought I would do something for Mother's Day. So if you're like me and you wait till the last minute to think about gift giving uh, and honoring your mother, this is a great last minute cake that you can make and take to drop off to your uh, mom uh, or take to a dinner or what, whatever. So this is a flourless chocolate cake. I don't have a, a favorite recipe, so to speak, but um, I just looked online for a couple of recipes and uh, ironically, the one that I found that I really like is from King Arthur Flour, which I thought was a little bit ironic. So uh, we're going to do just a very simple uh, flourless chocolate cake. I like this recipe a lot because it's, the ingredients are easy to find. It's just chocolate chips and cocoa powder, nothing extreme. And then we're going to do a little twist on the recipe. Uh, we're going to add in a little bit of apricot, which is something that my mom likes to do in her chocolate cake. And I'm going to soak them, uh, just kind of warm them up a little bit, soften them with some Grand Marnier to give it a little bit of an orange uh, flavor. So let's get started. The first thing we need is eight tablespoons of butter. So I've got that in this bowl already. You can see behind me I've got water simmering. Uh, and we're going to heat our butter and chocolate. So one cup of chocolate chips, and I found a really good uh, Nestle Toll House uh, dark chocolate chip. These are awesome, awesome chocolate chips. So those are going to go onto the pan. You can also put these in a microwave uh, safe dish and, and put them in the microwave to melt the chocolate and the butter. You don't want to go too hot because you don't want the butter to separate, but you just want to melt them and then we're going to whisk them together. Uh, in the meantime, let's do these apricots. So I've just got a handful here. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit of a, like a julienne, a nice thin slice. And then I'm going to pour some of the Grand Marnier over the apricots, this is an orange uh, cognac, uh, orange liqueur. One thing I will say is it is high proof alcohol, so uh, never want to add it to your pan near an open flame. So I'm going to add it here on the countertop. We'll put it on the stove and it will at some point combust, which is really fun. That's the flambe effect. And uh, as the alcohol burns off, you'll get a really neat flame. So just the julienne of apricot. Just a little bit of Grand Marnier, just enough to kind of soak it in. Put that on. Now this butter is going really fast. That steam is hot, so it will not take long. You can see what it looks like here. It's just some chunks left. And there's going to be heat in that bowl, so I don't don't need to keep it back on the pan for very much longer. Just do another minute. Give myself a glass of ice. Cheers. Okay. Next up, we're going to prepare a pan. So we need a piece of parchment paper. We're going to cut with scissors. So I will tell you that my mom was a really, really, and still is a very healthy, health conscious cook and doesn't eat a lot of sweets. And my wife, Emily, is, has a real salty palate and she doesn't eat a lot of sweets, but they can both be tempted with a really nice chocolate dessert, at least for a couple bites after dinner. So I think this will be a perfect dessert on a Mother's Day. The pan has been buttered. I should have mentioned that, but just a, a thin layer of butter. Oh, there's our flambe. Very cool. And our chocolate is definitely melted. So, paper in the bottom of the pan. We'll set that aside. And if I were to do this uh, recipe and prepare in advance for it, I would probably make the apricots 
uh, at least a day in advance and kind of put them out on a piece of parchment paper to dry them a little bit so they don't get too wet or too hot as they go into the, the batter because I just don't want to I don't want it to negatively influence the batter so this is beautiful the chocolate's melted and we're ready to start going with our other ingredients so we have three quarter cups of sugar a, tea, a quarter teaspoon of salt Um, we have three eggs, a little bit, just a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're going to add those in in that order. So we'll start with the sugar. Salt. Vanilla. So the apricots are completely dried up now. Just give those a little stir. We're just gonna let these rest until we're ready to put these. It's almost like a candied fruit. We'll let that rest. Eggs. One, two, three, okay, this dough or this um, cake batter is almost done. All we have to add is the cocoa powder. One half cup of cocoa powder. I had Hershey's here in the house, so that's what I'm using, which will work just great. Mix that in, and our batter is done. So the only thing we're gonna do then is add the apricots into this batter. We'll fold them in with a uh, spatula and then transfer into our prepared baking dish and go into the oven. And then I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate glaze that was in with this recipe, which I thought sounded really good. Um, and we'll do that just as the cake is coming out of the oven. So I'm going to put the apricots right in. Oh, this is so good. You could use those in all kinds of recipes. Pan. The oven has been preheated to 375. Beautiful dark chocolate batter. Okay, so this is going into the oven, 375, 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it bake for about 15. I'll check back with you, and then we're gonna make this um, frosting to go on top. In the oven we go. Back in a minute. Okay, we are back. Cake has cooled. Um, it's still a little bit warm, but I think it's cool enough to get it out of the pan. Uh, we're going to invert it onto this cake dish, I hope, and then the chocolate um, icing is not firm, but um, should be just pliable enough that we can spread it on top of that cake, and we're going to let it set up overnight so that it firms up a little bit more. So let's give this a shot. This particular pan is a little deep, so I'm a little bit... A little worried about getting this out in one piece, but first thing is make sure that our edge is completely clean. It smells great. I have um, this flexible spatula here to help if we need it. 
but I think I'm going to start by trying to just give it a good tap and see if we can get it to come out. So here we go. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's no problem at all. Pull our parchment off. It's still a little bit warm, so this definitely needs to firm up. Uh, if you've got a cool place to put it, you can put it in the fridge. That's fine. Overnight, here's one of our little apricots peeking out the side. That's going to be really good. And to finish it off, of course, you can do any kind of garnish you want. To me, the simpler the better. This dish is all about chocolate. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. I'm just going to let it drip down over the sides a little bit. I want to leave a nice thick layer on top. And there we go. Beautiful chocolate cake to celebrate Mother's Day. Cheers, Grandma Det and Emily. I love you both. Some of the best moms in the world. Top 25% for sure. Love you.